So hello learners, welcome to the IITM student community channel. Today we will be solving the IITM graded assignment and subscribe us and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates. So now let's begin. So now let's start solving the question number 1 of the week 9 graded assignment. So our question number 1 written here is that an inner product of RQ that is R3 is defined as, as this. Uh, in which x1, x2 and x3 and y1, y2 and y3 is equals to x1, y1 plus x2, y2 and x3, y3. So now we have to match the sets of vectors in column A with the properties of orthogonality and orthonormality in column B with respect to the above inner product. So here's our question number one so options given. Uh, yeah, it's uh, actually column given. Set of vectors in column A is this and column B is this. That it forms a basis but not orthogonal. Second one is this forms an orthogonal basis. And the third one is that this one that forms orthogonal but not orthonormal and does not form the basis of RQ. And the last one is that orthonormal but does not form a basis of R3. So now what we have to do is we have to choose the set of correct options. First one that A belongs to 4, second A belongs to 3 and third one is that A belongs, uh, it's B belongs to 4 and then A belongs to 3 and B belongs to 4. Then again B belongs to 3 and then C belongs to 2 and C belongs to 1. So now let's have a look at the answers. So here's a solution that please note that if X and Y belongs to V, that it, it is uh, orthonormal sorry it's orthogonal then x and y is a linearly independent set and also since dimension of r3 is 3 then the set of three linearly independent vectors forms a basis so here's the first one that is a is a defines as yeah it's a defined as 2 3 4 minus 1 2 and minus 1 is equals to 0 so please note that 2, 3, 4 and 2, 3, 4 is not equals to 1. So the set is not orthonormal. And also since there are only two vectors, it cannot form the basis of R3. This matches with 3. Then Rb is given as this 1 upon root 2, 1, 0 and minus 1. It is similarly 1 upon root 2, minus 1, 0 and 1 is equals to 0. Also this 1 is equals to 1 and okay wait let me clear this. So this one is equals to 1. Thus these vectors are orthonormal. But this does not form a basis of R3 since there are only 2 vectors. If there will be 3 vectors then it will be formed with R3. But uh, since there are only 2 vectors so it will not form. Then we have our C option as uh, minus 1, 0 and minus 2 and uh, 0, 4 and minus 3 is equals to 11 but that is not equals to 0. So the set is not orthogonal and if we show that the set is if linearly independent then it forms a basis of R3. This is because a linearly independent set with number of elements equal to dimension is a basis of V. Then we have to show that the set is linearly independent. Now this one that is alpha into 2 3 4 beta into plus beta into minus 1 2 minus 1 plus gamma into 0 4 and minus 3 is equals to 0 has only one solution and after if we'll solve it we'll find as alpha is equals to beta is equals to gamma that is equals to 0 and then we have 2 3 and 4 and minus 1 2 and minus 1 is equals to 2 3 4 minus uh, no it's 11 2 and minus 7 wait wait let me clear this yeah, this one is equals to minus 1, 1, uh, 2 and minus 1, 11, 2 and minus 7 is equals to 0. So the set is orthogonal and hence it is linearly independent. Thus it forms a basis since the linear independent set has 3 that is dimension of RQ elements. So it will form with the dimension of RQ. And now we have our question number 2 that is written that choose the set of correct options option a is suppose beta is equals to v1 v2 and so on not and so on to vn this is an orthogonal basis of an inner product space v if there exists some v belongs to capital v such that v and v i is equals to 0 for all i is equals to 1 2 3 4 and so on to n then v is equals to 0 and our second option is that there exists an orthonormal basis for rn with the standard inner product and if PW denotes the linear transformation which product 
solids which projects the vector of an inner product space v to a subspace w of v then the range p of w will be from null space p w is equals to 0 when 0 denotes the zero vector of v then our next one option that is last one option is that this one matrix cannot represent a matrix corresponding to same projection so now let's have a look at the answers so here's the answer that recall that a basis is a spanning set which is also linearly independent a linear transformation is a projection of p squared is equals to p and then our option number one is since beta is a basis and v belongs to v can be written as v is equals to a1 v1 plus a2 v2 plus a1 and so on to a n v n now v n v i is equals to a i v i v i for all i equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on to n since it is given that v is such that v is equal and v i is equals to 0 for all i we have i1 v and mod of uh, uh, wait yeah this one square is equals to 0 for all i but vi is not equals to 0 and since vi is equals to not equals to 0 thus ai is equals to 0 for all i and hence v belongs to that is equals to 0 then our option number 2 is suppose v1 and this one is a basis for v then using this one this one as our gram scheme orthonormalization process we can conduct an orthonormal basis for this v and then our option number three is since pw is a projection and p square w is uh, equals to pw then x belongs to range and this one belongs to the null space pw since x belongs to the range this one yeah it's let me clear this huh so x belong x is equals to yeah, it's P square. Okay, so P and W belongs to this one range X. Then we have X is equals to PWY for some Y that belongs to V. But if X is belongs to the null space PW, that this implies that our PW and X belongs to or equals to 0. That is P square of W and Y is equals to 0. But if P square of W is equals to PW and hence X is equals to this one. Then we have the range of this one belongs to the null space PW is equals to 0. Then our option number 4. Please note that this one matrix if we'll square let, let it be square. Yeah. This one if we'll square of this matrix. Then 1 and minus 2 and 0 and 1 is not equals to 1, 0, minus 1, 0 and 1. So this matrix cannot represent a projection.